welcome back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining our channel today now on this channel we upload every sunday at eight o'clock and this is a nail art channel so if that is something you think you are interested in and you aren't already would you consider subscribing now we're going to do a reverse smile line so i go in with that bead and with my brush at a 45 degree angle first thing i'm going to do is make sure the back of that bead is flush to that nail then what i'm going to do is using the side and the body of the brush to push those sides in now you saw there that it wasn't quite ready so i moved on to something else and came back to it then you can maneuver that smile line into shape then i'm going to come in with that cuticle bead pop that down wipe my brush tuck that in nudging it with the tip of my brush then pop the bristles between the bead and the skin and then just pull the front of that bead round smooth it out make sure it's not interfered with the front of that smile line now i am going to do the same on the little fingers guys but i haven't left it in now this little beauty is icy blue from moira now this set i want it to be very glitzy like really really sparkly christmas so i added this beautiful blue icy blue i'm going to pop it down at the cuticle area and then there's three glitters that i'm using i have listed them below and i'm going to build them up so i'm going to put this one down first where that blue meets the clear tip end and then i'm going to come in with the three glitters that I've dipped with my brush. So basically my brush, I pick up a small bead of clear acrylic, dip it into one, two, three glitters, pop them on, nudge them around, then go in with another small bead. The bead of acrylic is really small because I'm filling in that clear tip there. I don't want to take over just want a little glitzy background on what what to put my uh, snowflake on so there is clear clear acrylic under that glitter so i have popped that snowflake on there now i have cut some in half and i'm going to put one on this side right here i'm going to push that down and then i put one on this side here Then what I'm going to do is come in on the point finger and I'm going to do the same sort of thing but I'm going to use the cover powder which is the magic extension from Moira. I'm going to tuck that in around the cuticle area and pull that up. So tuck it in, nudge it with the tip of my brush and then pull that bead up and feather it so it blends onto the nail. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit more just on that left as you're looking at the screen there. Just because I like my, um, whether it's two colours, ombres, glitter, whatever it is, I like it to be at an angle. Personally, I just think it's more attractive. I just think it elongates that nail. Now this little beauty here, this is Netherland from Moira. Another beautiful, stunning blue. So what I'm going to do is bring that down the right side so it goes more down towards the cuticle and up on the left. Then where them two meet, it's not an ombre as such guys because I'm going to put glitter there. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to come in with this glitter here, pop it between the two. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I did this gosh it must have been a week ago now and I can't remember so what I need to do is go down to my nail room and get the names of the glitters and pop them below for you which I will do so I pop that down and then like I said before I've got a glittery silver white I'm going to pop that on top of that pale blue and white glitter and then I have a mylar glitter and I do know that's from glitter planet because I think I got like three and um, I love mylar. I'd use it all the time if I could. So, uh, so yeah, I just nudge it around, 
fade it up that left side, down that right side. I don't want it to completely cover the blue, so I'm just nudging it where I want it. When you work with glitters, not just big pieces of glitters, but even a little glitter, make sure you know where you want it to go. It is much more appeasing to the eye. Now what I'm going to do is come in with this small bead of icy blue from Moira and I've filed this smile line into shape. Just refine that wall and then I'm going to pop it all the way around and then brush it, just paint it on. These are so, so pigmented. I'm just going to paint them up the nail. Then what I'm going to do is clean that wall. I don't want it to come up the wall I want it to be on the nail and then I will clear cap that later. I'm going to do it exactly the same with the other blue from Moira, Netherland. I'm going to pop it down, nudge it with the tip of my brush and paint it up that nail. Do the same on the other side, clean up that wall. Then what I'm going to do is come in with those glitters. Now when I want a big area covered I will Pick up a small bead of clear acrylic, dip it in the glitter and pop it on. I do not want this for this nail. One, it's only the tip area. Two, I don't want it all over the wall of that smile line. And three, I'm going to pop some snowflakes. So I'm coming in with a teeny tiny bead of clear acrylic. Dip it into each um, glitter individually. So I'm only using a really minute bit. If I don't like it, take it off. That's too much. And then spread what I've got on there around. Again, like I said, I want it to catch the light. There is clear acrylic down there. So using that to stick down the half snowflakes, I'm going to pop a couple of those on. Then, guys, I'm going to clear cap all of these nails. I am then going to file them into shape. Now, I was going to call it a day and say that's it. But I decided to pull out some crystals. But unfortunately, it didn't record. But this is what I used. I popped a few on the ring finger and then followed that diagonal line on the pointer and then top coated. It was at that point that I realised the camera wasn't recording. So I quickly switched it on and we uh, we did this. Guys, we are at the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed our small little nail play today. If you have, would you take a moment and hit that thumbs up? Please stay safe until next time. Bye.